Hi guys, Sasha for NetbookNews.com. We are over here at the Gonghua Computer Market in Taipei. Guess what we got? That's the new Acer Iconia Tab A500, a 10.1 inch a Tegra 2 tablet running Android 3.0. That means it's Honeycomb. And uh, we've already seen this uh, for the first time during CES in Las Vegas in January and also during the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. But this is finally um, the production sample. Well, actually, that's uh, the one that's going on sale over here. Unfortunately, we couldn't buy it right now because uh, they're starting to sell on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. We have to wait another four days. But still, uh, we managed to get our hands on one of the very, very first samples that is available over here at an Acer shop. So let's take a quick look around the system. Um, it has a nice brushed aluminum case, comes with a five megapixel camera on the back. Well, I hope it is a five megapixel camera. <laughs> um, an LED light, uh, has Dolby Surround, or Dolby Mobile, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, HDMI out, um, micro SD. Let's take a quick look around here. There's a power button, there's a jack for your headset. There's a, um, an HDMI connector. This is a connector for a future docking station here. Then we have um, a reset button. Um, USB, I think it's 2.0, otherwise it would be a blue one, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, that's a micro USB. And this is, this looks to me like for an antenna. Is it a PSU? Of course it is a PSU, <laughs> Jesus! And uh, behind here we have a 4-in-1 card reader. There's for micro SD. And we have the volume control here. And this one is just for stop uh, shifting it or tra tra having this transition from portrait into landscape mode. Besides that, um, Android 3.0, so this is the same uh, screen that you're already familiar with, I hope. Um, but Acer is using a couple of new pre-installed apps. So if I compare this to the Motorola Zoom, that's definitely a little bit different on this one. Let's take a quick look around here. There are no pre-installed widgets right now. Besides the bookmark widget, Skype is pre-installed over here on this one. Something called Daily Roads. Uh, they have a sync-free office, so an office suite is already uh, pre-installed. We have um, e-reading, games, multimedia, and social. So these, these are kind of folders. So obviously Oh, there we go. Um, Acer is using kind of folder structure to come to kind of subdirectories with new desktops. So we have a little desktop for games. And look at this. There's Need for Speed Shift pre-installed. Let's Golf and Hero of Sparta. Let's take a look at this one. I haven't seen this one too, so far. Oh, you can see it's a glossy <laughs> display. 1280 by 800 is the resolution. Think one gigabyte of RAM and uh, 32 gigabyte of flash memory. Here we go. Let's skip this. So Tegra 2, one gigahertz dual core CPU. I think that's a Tegra 250 they're using here. It takes a while to load. That is one glossy display. It is one glossy <laughs> display, one glossy definitely. Display. Wow. You see my outfit looking very nice today. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> and sunny day. It's a beautiful sunny day here. You know what? While it's still loading, let's talk a little bit about the pricing of it. Mm. Um, it's on sale over here for 17,900 NTs. Mm. That is like 429 euros. I would guess it will be below $450. Definitely under $450. Well, the 7-inch is supposed to come in at 350 450 for this would still be a fantastic deal. So, let's see. I've never played this before. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, but definitely, Tiger 2 should uh, give you some decent gaming performance. Let's skip this again. Ooh, ooh, ooh look at this. Here we go. That looks fancy. Yeah. That's running on 1280 by 800, guys. So uh, definitely great gaming performance. 
Looking good. That's our hero of Sparta, I guess. Um, let's go back to the main menu. And let's talk a little bit about the other apps. Uh, let's go to this app store here. Um, we also have something called Acer Sync. There's a kind of Acer Notepad. Look, Opeo is pre-installed. This is something like Pandora. Mm -hmm. So this is your personal radio station. Um, Clearfy, what was Clearfy again? That's their, that's their sharing between uh, OS's. Exactly. So it, it can go between Android, desktop, yes, or, yes. Uh, Windows, uh, Apple. Um, here is Daily Roads, which is something uh, you can take pictures and then there's the Asus logo there appropriately. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this is just a fancy little camera application with different filters. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's go back to the app screen. Um, we have e-reading. Do they have some pre-installed e-book? Yeah, well, I guess you, you, you will be able to download some e-books then. Um, let's go back to the app screen again. Uh, uh, I, I've been showing you already the, the games. Docs to Go is a pretty uh, neat application. So you can see all your Microsoft, PowerPoint, Excel, whatnot documents are on this on this reader, uh, on this tablet. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not a reader. There is a new music application, maybe. I'm not sure if Acer is going to go for a, a cloud service, but apparently there is a music application pre-installed on here and of course um, Social Jogger. This is a kind of application that's a mashup of, um, of, of a Facebook and Twitter. It's aggregating all your Twitter and Facebook connections. And we have our... Gosh, they have a couple of pre-installed apps. That's yeah. all new, right? So... Um, don't know what this one is doing over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to hurry a little bit because the guy who just landed us this is waiting. Very behind. patiently. Very patiently, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we have your Skype over here. Ah, they also link to the Tegra zone. Awesome. So this is all about new uh, optimized NVIDIA Tegra 2 applications. Mm. Look, that's how the Tegra zone looks like. So that's their own app market for NVIDIA Tegra 2 optimized apps and games. That looks pretty good. Oh, Samurai 2. I think we did a video on this during CS. Yeah. So let's take also you know, a, a quick comparison between this one and the Motorola Zoom. Let me just get this out of its... Terrible case. I don't know if it's a terrible case. It seems that um, the Acer Iconia Tab A500 is, is, uh, is wider. So there's a, there's a bigger bezel around here. Um, in terms of weight, I would say it's almost the same. We need to look up the specs. I just, I just can't remember uh, uh, the weight of uh, the Motorola Zoom. They're both running Android 3.0, but apparently the Acer Icona tip has way more pre-installed apps. Um, Acer built a kind of ecosystem around this, and are, I think it's way more fun to use it. And also, I, I prefer the form factor. It's easier to hold, uh, while the Motorola Zoom has some kind of sharp edges, in my opinion. This is very round, and it, 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 looks, it looks just gorgeous. I think the build quality is fantastic with this brushed aluminum and the price. Guys, we're talking about, this one will be way below $500, mm -hmm. definitely, while this one is $799. So that's, that's a huge difference. So these are our first impressions of the final production sample of the new Acer Iconia Tab A500. Uh, you can get it at a dealership in the next four weeks, I would say. I'm Sascha for NetbookNews.com, over here at the Gonga Computer Market. Thanks for watching. <laughs>